Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is Drew here from Lone Fox and we have yet another bedroom transformation today. And when you guys see the before of this bedroom, you are going to freak out because I cannot tell you how much of a transformation the space is going to be. As many of you guys know, my parents moved to Arizona back in August and my aunt also moved with them. Uh, my aunt was living with my grandpa back in my parents' hometown. However, my grandpa didn't want to move with them. He really wanted to stay in his hometown. But as they have moved for about six months or seven or eight, however long, longer it's been now. He just decided that he wants to actually live there half of the year and then live back in our old hometown for half the year as well. So he's going to like switch it up and live in both places. He is getting older um, as he is 81 at the moment. So it's just definitely nice to have him like around my parents. However, my aunt's brand new home that she just bought or not brand new. It's definitely a fixer upper style home for sure. Needed a little bit of work. So I knew I wanted to go in and make a bedroom for my grandpa in there. And that is exactly what we are doing today. So it is a very small bedroom, but I'm really excited to kind of maximize the space in there and just make it feel really inviting and cozy and a nice space. Now my grandpa is going to be keeping his house back in our original hometown so he's going to be able to travel back and forth so all of his belongings and items are going to stay in that house. So this new room doesn't need to have like a ton of storage or anything like that. It's more so like a long-term hotel room if that was to make sense to you guys and I'm going to be transforming this bedroom which is bright pink into something that kind of has a little bit of his own home aesthetic in there. He is very muchly a farmhouse vibe. I guess he wears cowboy boots every single day. He wears Wrangler jeans. It's kind of like that whole aesthetic, very farmy, if you will. Why not take a little bit of modern farmhouse and mix it up with my current style and just make something really fun for him. So that's what we're doing in today's video. And also you guys, I'm filming this Friday morning at the moment. I'm leaving in just an hour to drive over to my parents and I have to be back here on Tuesday morning. Thankfully, today's sponsor of the video, Helix, was super kind. They sent a mattress over a couple of days ago, which I'll talk about in just a little bit here for you guys, but they're an incredible company. I've worked with them multiple times in the past, and their mattresses are superb. I literally have one on my bed right now, and I just love, love my Helix mattress so much. So that's already sent over there. We have no furniture or nothing, so we're going to have to see what we can do. I have plans on DIYing a headboard. I have plans on DIYing some wall sconces. Let's go ahead and jump on into today's extreme bedroom makeover for this small pink children's room that's going to be transformed into my grandpa's kind of part-time new bedroom. Hello, you guys. It is the first day of this room transformation, and it is currently 7.34 at night. I don't know if you could see that, but I'm starting this transformation at nighttime because basically there is going to be a lot of painting occurring in this room. If you can see behind me, this room is full on pink, and it is just not the vibe that we are going for for this space. I set up a light as well in here because it's pretty dark at the moment, if you were curious. But I'm gonna start off by giving this room a full coat of white paint because I wanna go ahead and do some boarding detail on this wall back back here and so I figured I would go ahead and just tonight add one coat of white paint that way tomorrow I can add the boarding detail and then we can do the second coat of paint and everything will blend together. I got my paint I ended up opting for the bear in the finish of eggshell and the color is polar bear by the way. Out with the pink and in with the neutral white tones. Okay I'm not sure what this is right here why is this darker here and then also you guys the inside of the closet is such an ugly shade of literal poop brown like I'm very concerned about this possible to obtain in a monoral recording There is also a full pink door, which just has to go, sadly. A little tip for you guys, if you are painting, you can actually put your paint brushes and rollers inside of a plastic bag like this and then put it in the refrigerator and it will actually cause it to not dry out. So you can use it again tomorrow since we're gonna be doing the second coat, just popping it in the fridge and that will be ready for tomorrow. Thank you. 
I went back over to my aunt's house in the morning and we had a really exciting delivery from Helix, which is today's video sponsor. My grandpa actually took the sleep quiz over on Helix website to find the perfect mattress match. And this is actually his quiz here. I filled it out for him, but I went on a call with him and just asked him all the questions. He is 81 years old, um, five foot 10 inches, 170 pounds, and he actually is a side sleeper. And then on top of that, we also found out that he likes a more soft to feel mattress. And that is because he does have back pain normally when he wakes up. So we wanted to keep that in mind. And that's actually an option here on the sleep quiz as well. And he was actually matched up with the Sunset Lux mattress here, which is a perfect option for him. It is so, so soft and an incredible quality mattress. And if you guys did not know, Helix is a premium mattress in a box company, meaning that your mattress is shipped directly to your doorstep, which is super, super convenient. And it's packed really nicely inside of this box here. It truly is absolutely incredible to me that they're able to get such quality mattresses inside of this box and ship them to your door. I don't know how they do it, but they do it. Now, I can't speak for my grandpa, but I can speak for myself because I've had my own Helix mattress for almost five months now, and I absolutely love it. I couldn't imagine having another one in my home. If you guys are in the market for a brand new mattress or you just want one in general, I highly suggest Helix. It's fully customized to your body type and your sleep preferences, so I think it's just an incredible product. And honestly, the best part is that Helix delivers your mattress right to your door for free. It comes rolled up in the box. It's super easy to set up yourself, and if you don't like it, you get a 100-day sleep trial, and you'll get a full refund, and they'll come pick it up for you. You don't even have to put it in the box, which is incredible. So if you'd like to check them out, go to helixsleep.com slash Drew Scott to get up to $200 off plus two free pillows. I will link it in the description box below. Good morning. Oh, I just literally hit the fan. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. It is the second day of this room transformation, and I'm here. My dad is over here. Hi. He's in the closet painting. Hi. But as you guys saw last night, the room was bright, bright pink. So we went ahead last night when I got to Arizona and did a first coat on the entire room. Thankfully, my dad is helping me with this project because I don't know if I'd be able to do it on such a quick time frame. While behind me, I'm going to go ahead and do some vertical, just basically board and batten, but I'm not going to have a top to it at all. So it's just going to be like the vertical slats. I actually saw my friend Erica from Peony and Honey do this in her craft room, and I loved the way that it looked with the white. So I figured I'd do that as well, just to brighten up the room since it is smaller, but give a little bit of interest to the wall as well. Also, you guys, we're gonna go ahead and remove this old fan here. Luckily, my dad's really good with like electrical things because I, however, am not the best. I can, I can remove a fan and put one up, but you know, thank you for helping me. My dad had a really great idea of also spray painting the cover to this vent, which I would have never thought to do. Um, so we're gonna spray paint the cover to this just so it's nice and clean and white as well. And then of course, I'm gonna go in and start working on this back wall here so we can apply a new coat of paint and have it all nice and seamless. For our wainscoting accent wall, I'm going to be using some 1x3 pre-primed boards along with some liquid nails and some caulking, a miter saw, and also a brad nailer, which I forgot to film, but you're going to see in a second here. So the first thing that I actually did on this wall was I wanted to mark the exact center, which happened to be 66 inches. So I just placed a little mark there on the baseboard. I'm going to have to go back and paint anyways. And then I measured out the height of my first board, which I used my miter saw to go ahead and cut. The ceilings in this room are 8 foot tall, but of course that baseboard adds a little bit, so you want to go ahead and chop off any extra that you're not going to need. Apply a little bit of liquid nail to the backside, and then I also suggest using a level to ensure that your board is straight. Now, something I can give you guys tip-wise is to start in the middle and apply a couple of nails right into the middle there, then go down and re-level the bottom and re-level the top before nailing it in, just because sometimes the wood is a little bit warped, so I do suggest nailing in the center first to kind of get that center balance, and then working down and up to ensure that you have a nice straight board there. So as you can see, I'm using this piece of baseboard, which I cut down to 12 inches wide, just as a spacer. I thought it would be so much easier to create one spacer as opposed to having to measure out every single board. So that's exactly what I did. I spaced them out 12 inches, but you can totally adjust that if you have a larger wall or if you want the uh, boards to be closer together or further apart. I just did 12 inches because it seemed to work great for me. And I also got really lucky because I didn't even hit any outlets or anything. So I went ahead, applied them all on there. And then our next step is actually going to be to use the caulking to to secure and just make sure that they look flush against the wall and it's like one entire piece as opposed to boards just nailed to the wall and this really makes a humongous difference you guys so I highly suggest do not skip out on the caulking at all it gives a polished look 
I am very pleased with how this is turning out, you guys, so far. I cannot believe this room was pink last night. Like, it's already looking so much better. And if you guys did not know, there was hardwood floors installed, and there was also baseboards installed in here. But I am going to go around. I'm actually going to caulk the top of all of the baseboards because the guy that installed them did not do that for some reason. Um, and then we're going to paint the baseboards the same color as the wall. So everything's nice and seamless. You can kind of tell how they're a little bit of a creamy tone at the moment. But so far, so good. Um, I believe ha this half over here of the wall all planks have been painted. This half still needs to be painted here and then we just need to finish up this little ceiling line there. Now, I'm actually going to be DIYing a headboard for the space because I couldn't get one shipped quick enough with the turnaround, and I was like, let's go ahead and DIY one. I love DIYing in general. So these are the tools and supplies I'm going to be using for this headboard build. Um, I'm going to be using some wood, some braces, some screws, um, and some cane as well. So the first thing that we're gonna start off by doing is actually cutting down two of our boards to be 60 inches in length. This is going to be the width of a queen size bed. So you're gonna want two for the top and bottom of the headboard. Next, we're gonna cut some of our height pieces, which are going to be kind of how tall our headboard is going to be. I ended up cutting mine to 17 and a half inches because my cane material is 18 inches in width. So I knew I would have enough space in there to kind of staple it down. And traditionally to attach wood like this, I believe you would use a pocket hole jig. However, I am not a carpenter or woodworker. I leave that up to the other incredible talent here on YouTube, but I'm going to go ahead and just use some of these braces and just screw the pieces together. This is also way more affordable than me having to purchase that tool as these braces only cost 60 cents a piece. So I just I just used my screws and I screwed them in on each side of the wood using four total screws to ensure they were nice and secure. This is going to be on the back side, do keep in mind. All of the brackets are now screwed on, or the braces, I guess you should say. So we have them on all of the edges and we have a nice and sturdy, I guess, frame for our headboard, as you could see. I do want to go ahead and actually apply one more like middle piece, which is going to go in the middle here, just because I think it would be nice to kind of have um, this like separation and have a little bit of darkness here once I go ahead and stain everything. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this one the same exact way as I did the other one. So grabbing that third piece of wood, applying it to the exact middle there, I'm going to use a couple more of those braces along with some screws to secure it to the center. And then as far as staining goes, I'm actually going to be using Special Walnut by Verathane. This is just a really pretty kind of like warm tone, neutrally brown color, which I think is perfect for the space because the cane is going to be a little bit on the yellowish side. So I wanted something that would contrast it, but also go back to our nightstands and overall just kind of add some warmth and almost like that modern farmhouse wood tone to this space. And our last step is going to be applying the cane to the center. So I soaked it in the bathtub for about 30 minutes in some warm water, and I'm going to be using a staple gun just to securely staple this all the way around the outside, pulling it taut as I go. But keep in mind, you're going to let this sit out in the sun for about two hours and it's going to shrink up. Hello you guys and welcome to day three of the makeover. I already went ahead, I started working on the headboard this morning, but I figured while I'm letting that dry and um, just have to work on a couple other things, I would go ahead and hang up the curtains in here. I went to Target last night and got a black curtain rod along with these blackout curtains. They're like a grayish tone. The color is called Gray Linen Aruba. And the store I could have swore they had a slight tint of green to them, but they don't look as green anymore. So I'm hoping that once I put them up, they look pretty good. I'm gonna do it as high as possible and I'm um, kind of also probably have to come out a little bit just to take up a little bit of the wall space. The curtains are installed now and they look great. Now in store, I could have sworn that these were a little bit more of like a minty sage green gray tone, but in person they're much more gray and I'm just gonna have to see kind of how I like it as more stuff comes in here because as you can see the floors are gray, but I'm using like warm woods as well. This is a nightstand I picked up at Target last night. The ceiling fan has also been installed and you guys, if you did not know, ceiling fans are a must in Arizona. It gets like 120 degrees. So I can't really put like a cute little pendant light in here or something. It, we need something a little bit more functional so that's why we opted for this ceiling fan but I like the way it looks it's kind of ties back to the black hardware here I'm gonna go ahead and actually build the base for the bed so we can bring the mattress in and just kind of see what space we're working with So 
we went ahead and brought the bed in just to get an idea of how much space it was going to take up along with the headboard. I just wanted to kind of get a feel for those colors and then now I'm going to go ahead and add a couple of sconces to the wall. These are some industrial arm plug-in sconces I got on Amazon. I'll link them below for you guys and also in a little bit here I'm going to share with you guys a tip on how to really hide and disguise that cord that way it's not an eyesore. New curtains are up and this fabric is just so much nicer. I also like how it brings just a little bit of warmth since we do have the nightstands um, and it's not too crazy with the floor. The floor still looks really nice with it. So I really love these ones quite a bit better than the gray ones prior. Now the next thing I want to go ahead and do is actually work on making the bed and getting all the bedding on here because that's going to end up determining the color of our headboard and just like our decor elements and everything else we're adding to the space. So I'm going to work on the bed next. came to the bedding in this space, I really wanted to keep everything really light and airy, so I opted for a white linen comforter. I also added a sheet set that had a nice little tan and taupe stripe inside of it, a couple of throw pillows which also brought in a little bit of warmth from our wood tones. This one in the front with the blue kind of had a southwestern feel to it which I loved for my grandpa's space, and I also popped in the headboard and this really nice golden throw blanket just to kind of tie everything together. <gasps> you guys! Why does the headboard look so good with the bedding now? I actually really, really like it. I was really not liking the headboard, as you guys saw a little bit earlier, and I knew I didn't want to go to the hardware store and get any paint just because I wanted to see what the bedding actually looks like on first. But when I changed the curtains and the bedding, the headboard looks really nice, and I do not mind it with the nightstand at all. And honestly, the gray floors don't look bad either. I'm very pleased with this, which I'm kind of shocked about because I really thought I was going to um, change up the headboard, but I actually quite like like it. So you might have been asking yourself, how are we going to be hanging up this headboard? Well, I ended up picking up these picture hanging rings from Lowe's and I'm going to be going ahead and screwing them in on the back side of the headboard. And I also went ahead and marked on two of the boards that I applied to my board and batten wall where I'm going to be applying this headboard. So I'm just going to be screwing two screws directly into those boards and my headboard's just going to hang essentially like a photo. And a little tip for you guys, if you want to make sure that it really stays on there, just wire the screw and the ring together. And the next, what I also did was apply apply these cord covers, which I also got at Lowe's. You can really get them at any hardware store. I'm applying the cord cover over the top of the cord and then making it centered on our board. That way the cord travels down the wall and looks really nice and clean once it's fully encapsulated and just finished on that piece. In terms of wall art, I went ahead and picked up a couple pieces, again, from Target. This is a really cool kind of like abstract landscape piece. And then this right here is a two-piece pack that has these like framed rugs inside of them, or like I guess just tapestry pieces. But I thought they would tie in the colors in the room so perfectly. And I do have a rather large wall here that doesn't, you, of course, we can't put a dresser here. We can't really put furniture here. So I figured, why not put some wall art here? So I'm going to put both of these there. This one, I believe, is just going to go right in front of the door here, just right here. I'm not sure if a TV will be put here in the future, so I'm just going to hang this there for the time being. A little tip for you guys that I actually learned from TikTok when you have to hang up artwork that has two different holes on it, which is my least favorite kind, what you're going to do is actually apply some painter's tape across the backside and mark where the two holes are going to need to be drilled. Then you could transfer that painter's tape over to your wall so you have the spacing and use a level to ensure it's nice and level. Screw directly through that tape the holes that you created to start and then you're able to hang up your artwork nice and cleanly and you can repeat the process for your next picture or however many you're going to be adding.
Okay, you guys, I just went ahead and looked at the before clips, which I'm going to put up on the screen right now for you guys to see of this room. And I cannot even believe the transformation that has occurred in here. It truly is absolutely incredible. And I am so excited to share with you guys the reveal of this space. It was such a fun and simple transformation. There wasn't anything too challenging at all. Everything just honestly worked. And I love the headboard. I love the colors in here. I did go ahead and tweak a couple of little things. Um, and I'm actually going to be filming the final clips tomorrow morning. So if you see a couple of random little like you know decor pieces here or there placed that is because I added them in but I'm so excited to reveal this to you guys so let me go ahead and share with you guys my grandpa's brand new bedroom in three two one you guys I am back in Los Angeles and the makeover is complete now sadly I wasn't able to grab my grandpa's reaction hopefully maybe my aunt can get it because it's definitely going to be a surprise for him for sure once he gets there um, but he's not gonna be getting there for a couple of days so I had to actually come back soon just to kind of work on some more projects for you guys and some more DIYs and stuff which is why my time was shortened and I just want to thank you guys so so much for watching I'm literally laying down at the moment pooped from my little makeover journey but it was so much fun and the room truly was such an incredible before and after and I want to thank you guys again so much for watching today's video if you are not already you could subscribe to my channel I post brand new home decor and DIY content every single week and last but not least I do want to thank Helix so much for sponsoring today's video and sending over a mattress for my grandpa that was so so kind of them and I'm sure he's gonna absolutely love it I know that me and my aunt were laying on it and we were like this is the most comfortable mattress ever it's so so soft he did opt uh, for that softer option but they have so many different styles and of course you could take your sleep quiz to find the perfect mattress for you so I will link that below for you guys and don't forget to also use my code you guys to get up to $200 off of your purchase plus two free pillows I actually love the helix pillows. They're super super comfortable, but I will catch you all in my next one again Just thank you guys so much for being part of the lone fox family and supporting my channel. I love you all so much and Have an amazing rest of your day. Bye guys <laughs>